Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering Channel. Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate a three phase virtual synchronized generator double loop control in MATLAB Simulink software. Before we start with our simulation, if you are not yet part of our family, please be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team in order to have special attention in your comment, in your request and as well to have access to our models. You can as well donate to our channel for us to keep on doing videos like this. Now let me introduce the model. All these components you can get them from library browser. Let me open here. Here you have our DC voltage source. Here we have our universal bridge. Here we have our our three phase control or series. Here we have our measurement. Here we have our three phase series RLC, and here we have our three phase measurement, which is connected to two loads. You have a first breaker and a second breaker, three phase breaker, and you have load one, load two. Let's open our three first break, is normal close, those are the switching times. Sorry, and we have our normal open breaker, which is which close from 0 0.4 to 0 0.8, and we have our our load connected to the, the breaker, our two phase load. Here we have our control voltage con regulator, power control, and the virtual synchronized generator control. So our control. The reference and the, the initial. Here we have our voltage regulator. You have the reference and the initial. Here we have the inputs. Here we have our virtual Synchronize generate or auto function. And there we have our double loop control. The first loop and the second loop. We have our PI controllers, our functions. And then we have our PW generator. There we have the our signals. Our T phase instantaneous active and reactive power. I think now we can run our system to behave of our system. We have our measurement, our scope. For for uh, three phase voltage, three phase 
current and neural power and the reactant power. As you can see, we are measuring the we are measuring from the meter that is supplying to the to the load. Now let's run our system to see the behavior of our system. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. Now let's check the, our results. Let's up, let's check our voltage, our three phase voltage in the current measure measured by our three phase volt. As you can see, the maximum volt, voltage is three hundred to three hundred, and then yeah, and twenty one, twenty two. As we can see. From 0 0.4 to 0 0.8, based on the based on the the circuit breaker, there it supplies more because of another load is leaded and you need to supply more to the to 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 the load. Now let's check the and then our power is here like active power and apparent power. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video.